Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to discuss another set of Databricks interview question. But before moving on, do remember to like, share and subscribe my channel. So let's move ahead and see what Databricks question we have for today. So essentially, you know, this is again a very, very, very commonly asked question. What is lazy evaluation in Spark? And essentially, you know, you should be able to explain it very nicely to the point and you should know the exact crux of the lazy evaluation now for that i do have some theory and then i have a practical you know uh, you know i'll just show you how a lazy evaluation actually works in the databricks so what exactly is this uh, lazy evaluation so, so you already know that whenever you know uh, you have spark which kind of operates on a data set right you write set of transformations right you write set of transformation and those transformation actually works when you call an action on that so you already know about the transformation and action part so in spark you write n number of transformation on your data set it can be an rdd it can be a data frame whatever transformations you want to write you write those transformations and after writing those transformation when you call an action right that is the time when the operations are performed right we all know this and this is the whole concept of lazy evaluation but apart from that you should also know that it helps in optimizing the overall data processing workflow how does it helps in optimizing right how does it optimizes okay we understand that whatever transformations are there you know nothing happens in spark until you call an action right until you ask spark until you ask spark to you know do some actions like take operations like display operation like dot show operations until you specify any action we understand okay nothing is going to happen you have the transformation and transformations are going to be put together by spark but eventually how does it help it helps in optimizing the data processing workflow it helps in optimizing why because internally spark will actually know that okay i have these this data set and I have these set of 10 transformations that I have to apply on the data set. It understands and when you kind of, uh, you know, ask it to do any kind of action, then what happens? Then Spark actually goes and it tries to create a plan out of it, right? It tries to execute it in the most optimal manner, right? It tries to execute your transformations in the most optimal manner. So for example, if there are any redundant steps, it is going to remove that by default and thus increasing your performance as well. So we will actually go to the portal in the Databricks and we will see how does it happen, right? So I have a cluster created over here and I'm going to show you how lazy evaluation actually works. So if you see over here, right, what is happening? I am creating a list, right? I Let me just zoom it itself. So if you see, I'm doing nothing over here. I'm just creating a list, right, for I in range you know i'm just randomly creating you know uh, a list of numbers and then i am trying to create a rdd with three partitions right sc dot parallelize you already know i'm trying to create a rdd and when i display this rdd right when i display this rdd you can actually see that it is nothing but it is actually showing you that okay this is my rdd that i have created right now let me try to do one thing on this rdd that i have created rdd underscore zero the one which we have created if i try to add a map operation now what is happening i have list with numbers over here right i i i do have a rdd which has a range of numbers now for each number if i want to add a four right a four to those so we already have talked about map lambda function and how we can use it so i'm not going in detail on you know how do we do it what exactly does each part means but eventually what essentially it is trying to do it is trying to create another rdd by adding four to each and every element right now if i run this command let's see what's gonna happen i also i have added a print command to the rdd one right i have added a print command to the rdd one as well also if i you know try to show this rdd lineage you can see how does it looks like right you can okay let me just put it like this so if you see there was first rdd that was created rdd0 that we created right you can see this 413 now we have rdd1 created and this actually depends on your rdd0 you can actually see this is rdd0 right it is created 
based on RDD0, which is nothing but 413, which is created at the top as well. Right? Now, let me try to do one thing. Let me, on RDD1, again, let me try to add 20, right, to each element. Now, if I try to add 20 to the each element and I try to run it, you will be surprised by what, what it has, what has happened. Now, you can see what it essentially does is, right, you have Python RDD2 that we have created, right, and then you have RDD413, right. Now, wh what is this? Why does it has 413 over here, right? Why, why, why does it has that? Because what it has done internally is you have tried to add first x plus 4, then you have set x plus 20. Now, just because of this, basically this is a redundant operation. You are trying to do plus operation two times, right? Instead of that, you can actually go ahead and add 24, right? So, the moment you will call any action on top of it, right? What will essentially happen is it will try to reduce this redundancy like first adding 4 and then adding 20. Instead, what it will do, it will directly add plus 24 to your output. And this is how it kind of helps you. This is how it actually helps you in, uh, you know, optimizing the loads as well. So lazy evaluation is not just uh, you know that you call an action then only it will work but apart from that as well it definitely helps to create a very good plan where it knows what it is trying to do and it tries to create a flow create the RDD lineage based on you know uh, you know what is best for your flow right so this is uh, you know one of the important interview question which is asked uh, you know in detail so i hope you like this video and i hope you understood do let me know if you have any questions in the comment section so thank you so much for being till here